And it's, of course, important to note the number of migrants currently in CBP custody because a federal judge is temporarily blocking the Biden administration from using a policy that halts a quick migrant release policy. That ruling coming down late last night. KTSM 9 News reporter Shelby Cap is live near the U.S.-Mexico border. Shelby, in terms of the El Paso sector, what impact is this ruling going to have? Andy, that temporary restraining order that was put in place by that Florida judge did say that DHS was planning to restart a policy that would have mass parole for migrants at the U.S. and Mexico border. But the blocking of that policy brings up concerns of overcrowding at CBP facilities here in El Paso. Now, the news of that federal judge blocking the policy came just hours before Title 42 expired last night. And U.S. Customs and Border Protection issued a statement regarding the blocking of the policy saying in part quote this is a harmful ruling that will result in unsafe overcrowding at CBP facilities and undercut our ability to efficiently process and remove migrants but P CBP says they will comply and are assessing next steps now an El Paso immigration attorney speaking with us about the judge's order there may be a, a manner in which it can be released but it's not going to be released with this policy the judges judge has made it abundantly clear that this is not to be used and uh, you have to remember that federal judges have contempt powers. If they tell you not to do something, they're not joking when they tell you don't do it. Now, Title 42 was lifted last night and migrants could still be seen along the border waiting to be processed at the border wall along the border highway. But today that number was significantly less. We are hearing that that number of migrants is actually under 50 now that are on the other side of the border wall along the border highway. But we have also heard that there are more than 6,000 migrants in CBP custody here at facilities in El Paso. Now, we did speak with Congressman Tony Gonzalez and Congressman Veronica Escobar. We'll have more from them coming up. At